Hi there. Uh, this problem is titled uh, Fake by and Research and this is a problem uh, taken from Coach Chef's uh, May uh, 2018's long challenge. And uh, the problem is called Fake by and Research because uh, we are given an array of uh, unsorted elements and uh, we have to make the by and research work still by uh, performing some minimum number of swaps. Uh, normally a binary search as you know would only be working on uh, a sorted array but in this case we are asked to perform find out the minimum number of swaps to be performed such a way that the binary search still somehow somehow ends up working. So that's why it's called a fake binary search and uh, so it will become clear if let's say we have to query the element 4 from this given array. So what you would do is uh, you pick the middle element. In this case, it would be the uh, element present at uh, the seventh index and that will be six. And so since in this case, six is actually greater than four, you'll proceed in this direction, but you don't want that. You have to still proceed in this direction. So I have to swap this element with an element that is less than uh, four. And so that I'll be able to move in this direction right and uh, now again 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 0 1 2 3 so there we are it's uh, it comes to 19 and then uh, 19 is actually greater than 4 so it will allow us to proceed in this direction to, uh, leftmost of 19 so we have 0 1 2 and this is the middle element and uh, like you can see here 7 is actually greater than 4 so it will proceed in this leftward direction we don't want that we have to swap this 7 again with an element that's less than 4 let's say this is 1 and in that case it will proceed to in this direction and then we'll have a required element which is afmed is equal to x and 4 which we wanted to find would be found so we are asked to perform the uh, find the minimum number of swaps uh, to make this binary search work so to solve this problem, the crux of this problem can be just solved uh, by using four variables. I'll tell you what those variables are. Uh, variable one is swap greater yes, uh, swap greater no is the second variable, third swap less yes and swap less no. Swap greater yes is a variable. Uh, for example, in this case, uh, let's say it's 19. Okay, let's say in this case we had a variable, uh, we had one here and we had to make sure the array moves in this direction, right? So we have to replace that 1 with a number that's greater than 4. In this case, we already had 19. But let's say if we had 1 here, we would have we would have uh, needed to uh, replace that 1 with a number that's greater than 4. So that in this case, that was swap greater yes. So I have to replace it with a number greater than 4. Yes, I have to do that. And uh, swap greater no meaning it is already there. This very example where we have 19, it's already there. I don't need to perform anything, but I just need to keep track of it. Swap greater? No, uh, I don't need to do that. So I'll keep count of that. These are all counter variables. So I'll increment as and when I come across these scenarios. And swap less, yes, is the other way around. So for example, in this case, uh, yeah, I needed to swap 6 with a number that is less than 4, right? So yes, so swap less, yes, I do increment it uh, 2 uh, by 1. And uh, the other case, swap less, no. In this case, let's say I had uh, uh, swap less no, meaning in this case, instead of six, if I had uh, some uh, element uh, like one, so I don't need to swap it in that case. It is already working somehow by fluke. So even though the array wasn't so sorted, it will still proceed in this direction. So uh, swap less, I don't need to perform a swap of less. So I'll increment this variable, swap less no. So you'll come to know why I'm keeping a track of swap uh, greater no and swap less no in a while I'll let you know oh swap greater yes swap uh, less no is of course uh, the number of swaps that we need to perform so to make this binary search work okay so normal binary search uh, case scenarios are these uh, wherein you have a of mid equal to equal x at this point you just uh, break you just break here and this is when a of mid is less than x that is the a of mid element is actually less than x and the index of that okay index of uh, what I've done uh, prior to solving this problem is uh, I've taken I've just uh, taken a, a dictionary in Python or uh, you can use a hash uh, map it will uh, pretty much work the same way I've kept a tra I've kept track of all the lookups of the uh, 
elements for example if they give if i give index of any element it will return me the index straight away i've just uh, looped it over and i've stored it in advance so as to reduce the lookup time or else i'll have to perform a lookup again and again that will be very time consuming so just uh, prepare a hash map or uh, just keep track of it so as in like when you just give index of it will give me the correct index of that element so okay so if mid is actually less than index of and this this is the normal uh, binary case scenario so in that case I didn't need to perform any swaps again uh, in this case again I don't need to perform any swaps so uh, it's actually greater than then index of is actually uh, I mean uh, index of is actually less than mid so in that case I need to perform any swaps uh, in the fake case I do need to perform swaps so it's saying me a of mid is actually less than x and uh, but in the in reality index of is actually less than index of x is actually less than mid and in the same case in the same way a of mid is greater than x but a of mid is greater than x and uh, mid is actually less than index of that element so this in this case i need to tweak the logic in such a way that it still proceeds in the right direction and i need to uh, keep track of swap greater and swap less so, uh, so swap less yes and swap greater yes so swap greater yes is the number of elements that i need to swap uh, that are greater than uh, the given element x Swap less is the number of elements I need to swap that are less than the given element S. Yes. So, okay. Now, uh, let's take a sorted array, uh, array. Let's say this array is A and let's say I keep another array B and I sort that array. So, I just need to find the number of elements from which we can, we need to have some kind of a pool for wherein we can perform the needed swap. So, I have the, I have track of this. I have, I have, I also have a track of this. So what do you do with that? Uh, we need to find out if there are enough elements in the pool uh, from which we can perform these swaps. So for example, if uh, let's say I, I have a sorted array and uh, uh, let's say I have four and I'll have something like one, two, three, four, right? And uh, all elements greater than four, like five, six, seven, all that, all right? So in this case, I need to find the number of elements that are uh, greater than um, that are less than 4, in this case it's just 0, 1, 2, 3, the index of it. And the number of elements greater than uh, 4 would be n minus 1 minus i. n is the total number of elements, n minus 1 uh, and then minus i. So i elements are there, so I'll just need to subtract it. So I'll be getting the number of elements greater than this. So, so this is the number of elements, this is the pool of elements that are less than 4. This is, these are the pool of elements that's greater than 4. So what I need to do is basically this is why I've kept a track of swap greater no and swap less no. So meaning uh, those elements I'll allow it to be in place. So whatever elements were uh, in which I don't need, I didn't need those swaps. I just have kept track of it. So uh, I'll subtract the number of elements I have from the pool, uh, which are less than four and uh, with swap less no. That is in this case, we had some element, let's say one. I don't need that like I'll allow it to be in place so I have subtracted uh, from the less pool uh, from the number of elements uh, that are less than uh, x I'll subtract swap less no similarly from the number of elements that are greater than uh, 4 I'll actually swap the number of elements from which I have allowed to be in place which I have allowed it to you know stay happily there and I didn't need to bother about it because we have to find the minimum number of swaps if it's already working, then why bother uh, swapping? So why do we even need to uh, swap? So in those cases, like these are the number of elements available that are greater than uh, four. And uh, I'll subtract the number of elements of happily like allowed to, for example, 19. So I can't use 19 from the pool. That's why I'm, uh, I'm allowing it. I'm uh, like subtracting it. I'm sorry. So we have, let's say this is this value, whatever we get as X and this value, whatever you get is Y. So we just need to compare if swap the number of elements that needed to be swapped is actually greater than X and, or if the number of elements that needed to be uh, swapped are less and it's greater than, uh, I'm sorry, it's the other way around. Uh, so this you have to compare with this and this you have to compare with this. So in that, in that case, that is if I don't have enough elements to perform the swap, these are the number of elements that are available, right, to, to be swapped. So if my quota is not being met, so this and this, if this is greater, uh, swap ls is greater than this and swap g yes is greater than y 
then my answer would be minus one that is i cannot make my vanity search work anyways uh, like it, it's not possible to tweak it around and make it work but if those conditions are if i have enough variables in the pool if i have enough uh, like you know uh, elements in the pool to perform my required swaps that is swap greater yes and swap greater y so those are the number of swaps i need to perform that is like let's say uh, number of elements that i need to swap for that are greater than x is let's say 4 number of elements that i need to swap that are less than uh, 4 uh, let's say is 3 so total number of swaps i need to perform would be 4 right uh, because see basically as uh, yeah it'll be the max of these two if you know what i'm talking about so that would be my required answer because see uh, let's say the number of elements i need to swap are four and number of elements that i need to swap uh, that are less and that is i can just tweak it around and uh, yeah th th these would be the number of swaps that are need to be performed so max of this and this so that would be my required answer if this if I don't have the required number of elements from my pool, then I just print minus one. So let me know if this is still not clear enough. Uh, I'll try my best explaining it in the comment section. And so that is the crux of the problem. That's how you actually solve it. I'll also be leaving a link, a uh, working Python code of it. Uh, I'll post a link of it in the description so you can check that out as well. So thank you for watching and uh, stay subscribed for more.